sometimes you might have made a track on your uh, desktop PC like the one I've got on the screen at the moment and then at some point you might wish to change a small section of that track now without having to redo a lot of the work there are ways of getting into the middle of the track and altering it now this is a track that I'm planning around the Grampians area at the moment and right in the middle of the screen if you can see where the mouse is sort of running around there is a section that I wish to change I don't I just want to cut that corner off and come across here rather than come down and up so it's a minor change but it can be done uh, if I scroll in now to bring in the section that I want a little bit closer then you can actually see as I come in a little bit more so we're going down here Glenelg River Road down to this point and then turning left up uh, what looks like a uh, Hammond track now I don't want to actually take that point I want to turn off onto that track onto Henman track here and come along there so we cut this corner off how do we do it first step is to go up to the top under the moving map icon and um, note up there and under there is an icon hide and show track control so we'll press that and it brings up the track control box if I hold the left mouse down I can move that box around anywhere that I like um, so just for the sake of things I'll put it over to the left so it's out of the road now I've got a uh, an option or you'll have an option as well I've had it clicked I've just turned it off there's an option on here along the menu at the top and in the middle you'll see when you hold the mouse over this little dot with a line on it it says show individual track points if I click that now you can see that my track has now got little dots which is where I've clicked as I've made that track and if you're not sure how to do that make the track just refer uh, back to one of the earlier videos that we've got I'll just scroll in a little bit closer and move the map across okay so you can see all these track points now the other option next to it is a little button if you hold the mouse over it says enable mouse on track points if I click that down and then move my mouse across any of these track points it comes up there and this says it gives me the track uh, number um, which is PID 503 you can see there um, it gives me the uh, waypoints the sorry the um, Latin long in um, degrees and um, other sorts of information when I clicked when I created it and all that sort of thing which is not really that relevant now if I go back up here I want to really delete the points from where I'm got the mouse now right down to this corner and along this track and up to here and I'll join in the middle later on so all these points here I want to get rid of so if I go back to the point before the turn off which is this one here and you can see on the top of this it says PID number 499 and the one that I want to keep over here down on the bottom is PID 521 so that's the number of these points so going back again so 521 499 to 521 now if I highlight the track in the track box here and go up to show track list there's a list of all the points and you can see the PID numbers here so I'll scroll down all the way to 499 which is there now I want to keep that one you can see now it's clicked up here where that point is I want to keep that one and I want to get rid of all the others in between there and 521 so if I hold the shift key down and press my down arrow I want to keep 521 so there we go so 499 uh, to 520 I'm going to keep 499 so I'm actually deleting 500 to 520 I've got them highlighted I'll hit delete yes I wish to delete them if I move this box away you can now see that it's taken that loop out and we've got a straight line from the from the, um, the first one where we started the deletion down to the last one now I want to actually now um, create the line not straight like that I'd rather come down to this corner and have it follow this track as best I can so I'm going to go back here and untick the little button showing the points I don't need that and untick that one to enable the mouse across it so that I've basically got the mouse back to where it would normally be I'm going to close the 
track list. Now, what I want to do next is create points in the middle. If I just click on up here on the left, as we've done before, and click manually click it, uh, a track point, it'll pick up whatever the last point is and draw a line between there and wherever I click. And we don't want to do that. We want to put these points in the middle of the of, um, of the track in here, in this section in the middle. So again, with this track control box, you've got an, another little icon at the top and you hold the mouse over, it says manually insert track points between points. I'm going to hold that down, click it, and now my mouse has become a little um, bullseye again. So I'm going to start from here and work my way down by clicking and it's starting to bend that line. Click there again there so creating track points along Henman track along here and as I add them it's just adjusting the line to wherever I want to go and I'll just go down to that corner and there we are that looks good now I'm going to press that again so I don't keep creating points and I can now close that box and I can scroll back out a little bit either rolling the mouse wheel. So there you go. So instead of going down here on this uh, corner and back up here, I can actually take the Glenelg River Road and do this left turn at Henman Track and come down here. All I have to do now is go up to File, Save to File, and Save Track to File. I've got a couple here. I'll just rename this one something else. I'll say Grampians Adjusted just for fun so I know what it is. I can keep the other two. I can delete them later and I'll just hit save and there it is. So if you do need to make adjustments within the track that's the method.